we're going to talk about that in a second. I mean, I thought Fastlane was all right. I mean, there were some good matches on the card, obviously, and then seeing the Bludgeon Brothers just absolutely destroy oh my God. <laughs> Xavier Woods, like, that looked pretty legit. We've had some good beatdowns to the B lately. Yeah. Uh, I, I like to call them the road to WrestleMania beatdowns. Those are always <laughs> the best beatdowns. Like, that's when the beatdowns get re- legit. You gotta really make the crowd hate that guy for beating the hell yeah. out of that, you, you know, think, that yeah. superstar. Do you think Xavier is going to make it to WrestleMania? Yeah, he's going to make it to WrestleMania. I mean, if you he's, can't he's take one be... power bomb, then... Oh, yeah, I mean, on the steps. Yes, exactly. you know, yeah. He's going to be shooting uh, uh, pancakes out of his ass or something. But, <laughs> like, but, like, yeah, I mean, yeah, WrestleMania... I mean, excuse me, Fastlane was good, I mean, for the most part. I, I didn't really have too many complaints. Obviously, I loved when Asuka came out yes, and, yeah. and, and challenged yeah. Charlotte, and I knew it was going to happen. It was still surprising to me, though, yeah. for some reason. When yeah. her music hit, it was like, oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, Ruby <laughs> Wyatt, though, put on a really good match, though. And I like how she came out there by herself originally. Now, I didn't like it when the heels, her group, the Riot Squad, got involved, and then you had uh, you had Becky Lynch and Naomi get involved. But I, I, I really enjoyed having having them um, on the uh, – uh, I really enjoyed having Ruby Wyatt come out by herself and being a dominant heel, kind of – not a dominant heel, but being kind of that heel who wasn't as afraid to back down from Charlotte. I think it was a solid match, and the, the, the main event had so many uh, storylines into it. I mean, as always, the, a multi-man match of that magnitude, you know, this close to WrestleMania for the WWE Championship, it's going to be intense. It's going to be a lot of things going on. And, and I got nervous, too. They did a good job. They made me scared. I thought AJ Styles wasn't going to have that title, no. you know, going into WrestleMania against Nakamura. But, you know, they did a really good job. You know, this Kevin Owens, Shane McMahon, Sami Zayn storyline is coming to a halt at WrestleMania. And I, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's funny because, uh, and I and I was thinking this the other day, and, and people, this, this is why sometimes I hate doing this on Thursdays because people get to it before we say it. But somebody mentioned this, the SmackDown main events, Going into WrestleMania are looking pretty dang good. Yeah. No, they're like they're solid. They're yeah. solid. After after what was pretty much been terrible build for the last like month or two. How about just a terrible show? Well, I'm since the I'm, superstar well, shakeup. Like, no, honestly, I'm excited about every single SmackDown match they've announced for uh, WrestleMania so far. Well, it's also, well, they haven't announced the tag team one, but I think we all assume what that's eventually well, going to be. Well, well they got to build it like solid because they know that WrestleMania is right around the corner so they got to smackdown they got to step up their game that's why they got to put on a solid card for themselves in order to match up with Raw you know yeah i mean 4 weeks for a bill for WrestleMania doesn't seem it seems like there should be a little bit more time and that's why i hate having a March pay-per-view fast lane i don't get why we have these pay-per-views yeah. i mean for me just add, just do a special on SmackDown, maybe where you add thirty minutes or an hour to a show to make it seem more important. Like pay per view quality. Yeah, like pay per view quality, yeah. or maybe put it on a network special. But I mean, to have a a, a whole pay per view dedicated to you know in the month of March, just four weeks out, to me that just doesn't give enough time for your storylines to get ready and breathe. Yeah. Also, Randy Orton. Um, what do y'all think about this whole Randy Orton? Bobby Roode, Jinder Mahal situation. I mean, I'm 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 torn because Bobby Roode was so great in NXT, and he's his character has just floundered, and in in the WWE on the main roster. And Jinder Mahal, I never liked Jinder Mahal, but I mean, he 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 signified the death of SmackDown. I mean, a few weeks ago we were talking about I said how Alexa Bliss was the uh, is becoming like JBL. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe. Maybe Jinder Mahal was the JBL was the JBL during that whole <laughs> WWE Championship reign because SmackDown was awful during that time. So I, I'm not a fan of Jinder Mahal. What do you guys think? What do y'all think? Well, looking at that storyline between uh, Orton, Rude, and Mahal, uh, it's I have mixed feelings about it. It's great that Orton's the champion, the U.S. champion, the belt that he's never won. Uh, but I gotta say. You know, if this is going to be the triple threat match at WrestleMania, uh, I don't know. I just have mixed feelings about it. And I feel like Rude and uh, Mahal deserve better because even though it, people can say all they want about Mahal, you know, he he has carried SmackDown, you know, by last, you know, by last year. He was he carried that belt. into the abyss. Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> I mean, him as champion, I thought that there was like going to be more eyes on him. I thought that it was interesting to see him as champion. 
Um, you know, I'm not a Mahal fan, but I gotta I gotta give credit where credit is due. He he played the heel role pretty well. And Bobby Roode, when he was on NXT, I agree with, agree with you. He was awesome. Like he was, like basically like a a big fish in a small pond. But you know, now that you're in the ocean, so for a guy like Bobby Roode in SmackDown, it's I feel like his flavor is kind of you know kind of dying down, sort of. And I don't really see people getting into that glorious intro as I thought. Oh, I, they're gonna go crazy at WrestleMania. They're I, gonna bring they out a choir. They're gonna bring out no. Everything. They will. I. They will. Of course, WrestleMania is gonna put out uh, an amazing, you know, entrances for their wrestlers. Of course, it's the biggest stage of them all. But you know, you don't hear that on SmackDown anymore, right? I mean, it's like what. What's well, I'll happening? tell you why. He's not a heel. He needs to be a heel to get he to be with that character the most effective. He needs to be a heel, and that's why he hasn't got the the reaction from the crowd. If he was coming here and, you know, he was a douche to everybody on the roster, I think that that character of being glorious and being self-centered, which is what he's doing, uh, would be a lot more effective. Uh, so I think that's why he's kind of in mid-card limbo right here. I call it mid-card hell, y'all. Well, it's, it's, whatever. It's, it's called same. mid-card so he already hell. En- you already entered hell. Then. He already <laughs> entered. He's in hell. How do you get out of hell, though? <laughs> That's a great question. Fight your, fight your way. <laughs> That's a, but uh, it's an eternity thing. <laughs> no, I, I also I also think though, what are we expecting of Bobby Roode to be in the WWE Championship picture? I mean, the U.S. title picture is looking like the. It's obviously it's a mid card WrestleMania match, but that's AJ Styles did that when he came into the WWE. AJ Styles did not vault right to the main event. He faced Chris Jericho at WrestleMania 32. And Bobby Roode's getting to face Randy Orton. I think it's actually a, a per, it's perfect booking. As far as his character not getting over as much, though, I think it's just basically because he's not a heel. I think he was a heel all through NXT or most of NXT, and that's why he was so over because everyone would go to challenge him, and he'd do the glorious thing, and then he'd win the title, and then he'd boast, and he'd walk out in his suit. Well, <clears throat> walking out in your suit when you're a good guy a lot of times isn't the most effective thing. And I think that's why he's not getting over, but I do like the way uh, where he is in the match. I do not really understand this whole Jinder Mahal thing. I'm hoping that this gets kind of uh, fixed in the next three weeks because I do think it's weird that the two uh, mid-card titles are also having triple threat matches. I thought they'd differentiate. I thought maybe Jinder Mahal would be like special referee for Orton and no, Bobby Roode. Yeah, I can't no. see that. It's just, I mean, something like, I'm just something like that where it's a one-on-one match because I actually really enjoyed that Randy Orton-Bobby Roode match in the pay-per-view. I, I thought, thought it was okay. It was it was, it was solid. okay. It was it was an old school match. I I, I do like the old it school matches. It was slow, and Randy Orton's matches are so slow. I guess he I, I understand he slows down it's old his school, style though. to make yeah. sure. Yeah, I mean I can respect that. He slows down his style to make sure that he uh he doesn't he to avoid injury, and he also he does it for psychology purposes to get the the crowd into the yeah. match. And yeah. his whole thing is supposed to be he's a viper, so viper is supposed to manipulate you, and then out of nowhere he strikes with that so RKO. Yeah, but I mean like yeah. in the matches, like come on these matches matches that he has it just seems like wash rinse and repeat same old thing over and over and over again i i want to see i want to see some um flexibility in his matches a little bit more and and last week was just it was all right and also i think another thing with bobby Roode's uh bobby Roode's uh whole character is his finisher i, I think he needs to get something else other than a ddt like the glorious ddt doesn't do enough for me like he doesn't have a cool enough finisher that really gets the crowd motivated the crowd will pop for well that's the problem right now in the wrestling industry is that it's real really hard to come up with a finisher it's a great point yeah it's a it's really hard um i did see this one interview about bray wyatt and they asked him about the dj asked him like yeah it's really hard to you know pull something you know like a like a finisher like a finisher move like sister abigail because sister abigail like you give him the kiss goodbye, and then you throw him down on the ground. And like a DDT like Bobby Roode, it's like like there's no beat to it. Like there's no flavor. Like there's nothing to like. It's just a DDT. Yeah, it's just. <laughs> I uh, mean, essentially, at least Jinder Mahal's move is somewhat create, not creative, but I haven't seen it before. I've seen a DDT. Yeah. I, every Randy Orton match, I see a DDT. I think it's just, <laughs> yeah. I know. I think it's just over the fact that we've seen so many finishers over the years, and it's really hard to come up with. You know, something to grab the fans or something to, like, you yeah. know, all inspire, you know, the fans. Because we have all seen it. Like, even we see it in the indies, like, you see, like, some sort of impossible finisher and then you apply on the, on the WWE. It's, 
Oh, it's it's hard, you know. Yeah, it's no, hard it, these days. It is difficult. I think so. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Solid. Still a okay match. I mean, going into WrestleMania, I don't understand why they're doing all these multi man. Yeah, I don't see that either. Matches, I mean, battle royals. I, I actually, it just. Yeah. It reminds me of WrestleMania 16. Ironically, in a Honda Center, going way back in, in, in Anaheim. I mean, all these 2000? matches. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah. Uh, there was only one match on the card that was a one-on-one match, and it was a women's match, Crazy. a divas match that wasn't even for the it's, title. You know, nobody's watching. Yeah, that uh, yeah. Like yeah. everybody was definitely going to the bathroom during that <laughs> match during that time. Like just, nobody cared during that time. Just, I'm sorry. Just the problem was that they don't have any plans for the wrestlers, and unfortunately, that's why there's show. There's like matches like the Andre the Giant. Battle, uh, bat- battle royal, and also you have you know these triple threat, fatal four way, and also five on five tag team matches, you know, or ladder match, and there's rumors about that tag t- in, in this year's tag team match, the, the SmackDown one. No, well, there's rumors that the Young Bucks might show up. Ooh. At WrestleMania. Hey, what, Young Bucks, which, don't do that, man. What match though? Don't do that, man. The tag team match against the bar. No, which yeah. tag- but it's not. Yeah, it's not gonna we happen. Saw, we it's, saw on Raw what probably is gonna happen. Braun Strowman. I like that too. It's creative. I've never who, seen that before. Who's Braun Strowman gonna team up? I with? think he's just gonna win the titles himself. That's what I think too. Dude, that'd be great. That'd right. be awesome. So let's, yeah. let's talk about that when we go. When we go to Raw. Let's continue. Braun just being now. Braun. Uh, the we're talking about. By I I agree with the whole. Um, why they're adding so I don't know why they're adding so many people to all these matches. I get you want to fit everybody on the card, mm-hmm. but. That doesn't mean the championships all have to be defended in, in, in multiple matches. I, I am So we're now seeing a tag team match where there's more than likely going to be six dudes. right? Now that one actually makes sense uh, because there's clearly not a true champion on that roster right now. So you kind of do need multiple guys. Who are we talking about? Are we talking the about Usos? SmackDown or Raw? We're talking about SmackDown right now. The, okay. Usos. the, the Us- Usos are the clear champion. No, because I believe New Day could... Uh, it, it, I did not see that Bludgeon Brothers thing... Ha- uh, I did not see that coming, okay? And I thought New Day might win the title, so they'd have the rematch at WrestleMania. It'd be an easy way to have the rematch at WrestleMania. Uh, I could see the New Day beating them. I could see the Bludgeon Brothers beating any of these teams. Like, so I think that's when, that's okay when you don't really know who a champion, who the true champions are, to have multiple guys in it. But in the U- U.S. title case, Randy kind of seems like the United States champion. And then you have two guys coming yeah. after him. You added Jinder Mahal. Even with... Uh, let's say the the Intercontinental Championship on Raw, just to jump over there real quick. Uh, I still feel like Miz is the true Intercontinental Champion, and I don't need to see why they had to add Finn Balor and Seth Rollins. Have Finn Balor go do something else with somebody else, then you have another. You know what I'm saying? So well, I, we talked about this. And I think the the Miz problem yeah. is the baby. Like we don't we don't know those guys. He's going to be at WrestleMania. Those guys are he's there gonna be, just he, in case for him to lose it real quickly, so he can go be with Maurice. I don't think that's happening. I think no matter what, he's wrestling at WrestleMania. Like I said, if you're in the World Series, which is what this is, or you're in the Super Bowl, you ain't going home to see your kid get born. So our Super Bowl's more important that day. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. right. Right. Anybody, in anybody WrestleMania is, over baby? Damn. No, yeah, absolutely, WrestleMania no, absolutely, over baby. Absolutely, right, man. it's the 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 wrestling business is is your life. Uh, even more than your kids a lot of times. All right, Paul and, Heyman. Know, I, I'm just saying. And, okay. And so if, if this was fast lane, uh, Miz can miss it. But WrestleMania, you know, especially when you're a star like the Miz, who's you know, uh, kind of is a representative for WWE in, in a lot of different um, ways. I, I think he's going to have to wrestle at WrestleMania. I think it'd be very strange if he wasn't there. Plus, it would have to pretty much take his kid to be born during the show. Because even if your kid's born Saturday, you can come to the show Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So for Miz to have to, have to miss WrestleMania, they, it would have to literally happen right when the show is going on. I think any other way, the way these wrestlers travel, there's no excuse not to be able to get there today. You know? So uh, I think that's the, – the, the, obviously that's an interesting topic that if that were to come up, we'd, we'd, we'd discuss that. But uh, anything else we want to discuss about the Fastlane pay-per-view – before we kind of dive in fully to the SmackDown, Shinsuke uh, Nakamura. How about that Rusev Day Mike? First of all, they got oh, a Rusev, like the yeah, Rusev like Day Mike and the Shinsuke Nakamura Rusev match. Man, that was a great match. Good, good start to the that show. Was, was, great booking. Yeah. Great booking. That was yeah, a good awesome. start. It was a good start. And I, I give him credit. And it's time for Shinsuke to get rolling, man. Like he, he's just been in limbo. I think everybody can agree. 
and can agree that Shinsuke's just been in limbo for the longest time. And it's time to get rock and roll. Well, and it's going to happen. And this too. AJ I, yeah. Styles match, the 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 build up, and we'll talk about that in a second. Doesn't seem to be too great. Well, you know, but what? the match will be fantastic. Yeah. If you've seen them in New Japan wrestling, then you know what to expect. Well, I think what they're what they're actually banking on this time and is rare is that outside WWE success. I think they realize that everybody's going to watch this match. They don't need to build it that way. And I've said this before. If you have a fantastic match, which is what I think, I think this is going to be an all-time match at WrestleMania. And put together a really great promo. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. Like... Absolutely. But if you're going to have an all-time match, it's okay if the build isn't that well, uh, isn't that good, because... You, um, the match is so good that everyone forgets about the build. Yeah. Nobody cares. It kind of reminds me of The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin yeah. WrestleMania 17. The build up wasn't fantastic, but everyone knew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, but it had a Stone great Cold. promo, yeah. perhaps the greatest promo of all time, if my way, in Limp Biscuit. And then everybody knows the matchup was awesome. It, yeah. it was my favorite Rock uh, Stone Cold match of all three well, WrestleManias. Well, what about that match between? Uh, Rock and Hogan at WrestleMania 18. Did you think that it needed? A no, that was a lot of build. That was actually that a, was lot a lot of build with yeah, NWO yeah, exactly. and they you ran know, him and, over and stuff like and that. And the last, and the last, the last Raw, I believe, have a huge had a huge six man tag team match with NWO versus uh, Stone Cold, The Rock, and one other wrestler. No, I it was forgot. just uh, two. Oh, it was three yeah. versus two yeah, handicap was... match. All right, that yeah, that, that. we're gonna we're gonna have to look back. I on went. That I on actually the went back last year after I, I went back in like May and watched the whole build up. With that, so mm -hmm. I, I have probably the most recollection yeah. recollection of this. That was no, there was a lot of build. That's the exact opposite of what I'm talking about. What what we saw a lot of build, for example, was last year with John Cena and The Miz. Oh yeah, there that was, was a lot, lot of build. And obviously, the build was eventually for John Cena to propose to Nikki Bella, but there was a lot of build for that match. And if you would have said if you would only gave them four weeks, that match probably wouldn't have been billed as what well. it probably wouldn't have been uh, as exciting to watch. I was actually excited to see that match. Because there is so much build, there was so much hate between those two. Uh, but I think in this case with Nakamura and Styles, you don't need that much. You only need four weeks of build. Because really, there's been build since the Royal Rumble. We all knew, hey, let's see how AJ Styles gets to WrestleMania yeah. to and, face Shinsuke. And so plus, there's someone has yeah. been kind of build since the Royal Rumble.